In this video, we are going to talk about anamorphic lenses and why they are a game changer for filmmakers. Now, you may have heard the term anamorphic thrown around before, but what does it actually mean? Well, let's dive in and find out. Anamorphic lenses, like the ones right here, are a type of lens that will allow you to capture a wider field of view with that cinematic look that everybody's going after. Now they do this by compressing the image horizontally and then you're going to be stretching or squeezing it back in post-production. Now this process gives you footage that has a very unique aspect ratio, typically 2.35 to 1 or 2.39 to 1, which is much wider than your standard 16 to 9 aspect ratio that you see on most TVs and monitors. Now, there's a big benefit to shooting with an anamorphic lens and the first one is that you can get that classic widescreen look that you see in many of the movies. Now, this is because anamorphic lenses were originally developed to be used by Hollywood in the 1950s and the 1960s. Hello there. Tell me, why are you so good to me? And that wide aspect ratio gives your footage that very cool cinematic feel which can really make your work stand out. Shall I climb up and tell you why? Now, anamorphic lenses also give you a shallower depth of field, which can help you isolate your subject and also create a more visually interesting image. One of the most iconic and sought after look of the anamorphic lenses is the flare that they're going to produce. Unlike your traditional spherical lenses, anamorphic lenses tend to produce a horizontal flare that is both colorful but also pretty dramatic. Now that's going to add a unique cinematic quality to your footage. This effect can be especially stunning when the sun is in the frame, creating that beautiful hollow-like effect that can add a sense of warmth and atmosphere to your shots. While the flare can be seen as a technical imperfection by some people, with the anamorphic lenses, the flare is often embraced as a key aspect of that very distinctive visual style. Uh, some of the lenses produce a warm orange flare, while the others are using a blue flare, which is what most of the lenses that we use in our kit actually are creating. Now, be sure to pick the right lens for your style since you can't really change that color afterwards. Now you might be wondering, can't you just use a wide angle lens that uh, is gonna get you similar effect? Well, the short answer is no. The wide angle lens can certainly create that wide field of view, but they don't produce the same and unique look that you would get with the anamorphic lens. The wide angle lenses also don't compress the image horizontally, which means that you don't get that classic widescreen aspect ratio unless you decide to cut it in post, but that is just not the same. It's worth noting that not all anamorphic lenses have the same amount of squeeze. Some of these lenses compress the image horizontally by a factor of 1.33, which is one of the lens that we have in our collection. But some of the others have a factor of 1.5 and also some of them have a factor of 2.0. The one that you're looking right now is actually a factor of 1.5. Now this can have a big impact on the final look of your footage. So it's pretty important that you choose either an anamorphic lens or an adapter that is going to match the look that you're going for. Keep in mind also that a higher squeeze ratio is going to result in more distortion of the image, so it's important to find the right balance for your specific project. So what do you need to shoot with an anamorphic lens? Well, first of all, you'll need an anamorphic lens itself. This is an example right here that you can put on a DSLR, for example, but there are also anamorphic adapters. This thing right here from Moment is really cool. It goes to the end of one of your lenses and then it creates that anamorphic look. It's super heavy, it's uh, not cheap, but this will give you the results that you want. Also, you can get adapters just like the one here that we have from Moment. Again, this was for the Mavic 2 Pro. A little bit cumbersome the way that it was designed but also you have adapters like freewell right here that made a kit that you can mount directly on top of the lens of the mini 3 pro so also on the mini 3 pro you can shoot vertical and get these vertical lines instead of horizontal it's a bit out of the ordinary i would say but it still results in a really cool look Finally, let's talk about how to edit your anamorphic footage in post-production. Now, if you're using Final Cut Pro, quite frankly, any other software is gonna be very much the same. You'll need to do a few things to make sure that your footage looks the way that it's supposed to. First of all, you'll need to set your project to the correct aspect ratio. Now, there are different ways of doing this. It depends on what you want your final product to look like. The video that you're watching right here, we created a project in 16:9 ratio. Now, you can look at this video right here, which we actually exported 
at a ratio of 235 to 1 or 239 to 1, I can't remember, but it's definitely exported as a wide aspect ratio uh, directly into the video. It all depends on what you see in your final product. So if you want to see black lines at the top and at the bottom, then you would create a 69 ratio. Otherwise, you would go with one of the uh, wider angle ratio. You'll also need to go and de-squeeze your footage in order to stretch it back to its correct aspect ratio. Now, there's two schools of thoughts in this case. You can actually stretch your footage horizontally this way, or you can actually squeeze your footage vertically this way. We prefer to squeeze the footage this way because there's actually less of a loss of image quality, although in most cases it's actually very negligible. So it really depends on the way that you want to stretch it. Once you grab your footage into the timeline, you can go into the inspector panel, and then from here you'll be able to do a horizontal squeeze or a vertical squeeze, and then add the value that is on your lens, whether it's 1.33, 1.52, 1 or whatever it is on your specific anamorphic lens. And that's it. With a little bit of work, you can actually achieve that classic widescreen look that you see in many movies. Anamorphic lenses offer that very unique and distinctive look to your footage with the widescreen aspect ratio and the horizontal flare that everybody loves. Now have fun experimenting with your own footage. Make sure that you share a link down in the description if you want to show us what you've done. And then as always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.